Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Thousand Week on Icon, which we're playing as that big old thicky Russian Republic, even though equipment wise we're not doing so great, but that's okay. I've been doing off screen Russian will. Our self sufficiency and local capabilities are important, and their success depends 100% on our political will and the will of the people to work towards a common goal. Now, as you can see, the USSR has just had a good war with Nova Sibirsk, and actually they encircled some guys, which is pretty good, but. Pavel Zigorev, we liked it last time, but he's nowhere to be seen. He, he's here somewhere. I'm just... He's gone. I, I, I don't know what happened, but... There goes the Kingdom of Scheme. Goodbye, Kingdom. So, we can... Planned rigged elections. Oh, we can't do this one. We need to stabilize the Republic first. Moving through Novosibirsk. So, once... This will this will be gone. This will be auto-completed. Once Novosibirsk dies, the final stretch of warlord and controlled land is owned by the government headed from Novosibirsk. It'll fall just like the rest. I wish we could do that. But we can't do that because they went with, uh, 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 Khrushchev, Khrushchev, Khrushchev. I couldn't think of the name. What, what's wrong with me? I don't want to do this one. The border with the remnants of the USSR has been reached. We need to decide how to act before anything escalates. Just because I want to make sure we can improve our equipment and get more guns. So we're probably going to grab, create a national arms factory. Our arms industry is lacking and small. We need to expand our capabilities and a government funded gun factory will kickstart this. What are we missing here? Support, oh, we need some support equipment for Mac, no. Malay National Republic, okay, we need to probably do that, we probably need to do that. Oh, but we don't have enough for anything here. Er, can I actually send supplies? Britain sends Victorious and Malaya, good job, Breton, but good job. Uh, can I send anyone, oh, I can't send volunteers, Ah, that sucks. There's a lot of social democrats here under Khrushchev. Oh, uh, what do they have? Unorganized warlords, which looks pretty darn bad. They have a bastion of hope, which looks pretty darn good. More infantry division attack, population, monthly population, land for construction speed, agrarian socialism, as well as Nova Sibirsk Agricultural Union. So, hopefully these guys are doing relatively okay. I hope they can take out a lot of the enemies here, because the USSR is going to be very difficult to take out. They have 8 factories, 30,000 manpower, Darlan elected president, uh, up to 12 divisions, Edel Urals. Oh, those guys over there. Oh, hello, what's going on over here? Huh. They have up to 37 divisions, which is looking slightly better than what they had before, but... Keep going, Nova Sibirsk. We're rooting for you. Kill them all off, because hopefully you can find, we can find our guy here, but whatever. Um, anything else? Krasnoyarsk? We need to complete the project Russian Glory, but we can't do that, because Russian Glory requires moving through Nova Sibirsk. So the quicker Nova Sibirsk dies, the quicker we can core stuff, but the quicker we go to war with the USSR. This is not going to be very good. We can plan r or rig some elections. We probably want to freeze the Kalen as well, just in case. We probably want to do that. Oh, decryption. Nice. Very nice. Let's keep getting some more decryption because that'll help in combat as well. As well. And he rocked it. Went to war with those guys. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to war. Go to war economy. I don't want to hurt or consumer goods at all. Honestly, this stuff is not worth it. It it, I mean, it feels good and good to get, which we probably might get. But oh, who's this foreign minister? Do we want that dude? A conservative dude, which doesn't look good. Or, or none of these guys look good. They don't look good at all. Screens? I don't know. Vladivostok aviator? That's yeah, okay. We can't do that one. We can't do that one yet, but that's okay. Um, has no effect. Well, there's, point, there's no point in doing that one. Heavy steel works? Let's do up iron production. Never has iron been more important than nowadays. Or American industrial assistance. Let's do that one first. The U.S. has a much more powerful industry than us. We should rely on their help to stay competitive. Now, one of the comments from the last video said that eventually Russia's going to get a massive rework, according to you guys. Uh, you know what? We can try this one. We'll try it. Why not? Who cares? Uh, but, like, I know that the both the USSR, all of Russia is going to get a rework, probably. So, that's good. And I, I knew they was going to get a rework eventually, so I decided, why not play them now to see what they're like. And then, maybe we'll play them again, once the, the you know, the, the patch is here, someday that'll come. Actually, I've got 10 divisions. These guys are doing great. Keep it up. I wish I could support you guys. Can I send, ooh, we sent Attaché. That's a kind of a waste of political power. What else am I going to use for political power? And I kind of want to see what's happening here, so. I normally don't do, do that, but whatever. Actually, that's only minus one. That's fine. All right, so... Oh, that is not looking good. Oh, this, this is not going to be a war that lasts for too long. Oh, man. Where are their divisions? Well, they must have encircled and destroyed some divisions down there. What type of divisions do the enemies have? Uh, probably 20 combat width there. So, if they're mostly 20 combat width, we can do relatively okay. And now we made another one, so now we have 20 combat width. Or 20 divisions. Not necessarily... But they are 20 combat width, too. Okay, that's good. That's at least a little bit reassuring for us. We got plenty of guns. Artillery is looking a little better. We need some more support equipment. The shoot stop will Oh, and these guys are uh, America's taking over France, and I'd say a third or two fifths of Germany. Never change, America. Never change. Oh, and there's a lot of uh, 
demilitarized zones. I can't think of the word there. Poor Germany. If America can beat them up, they're going to. Not bad, though. Not bad. All right. So after this one, we're starting the Lendlease. I don't know if this is going to do anything good for us, but I want to at least attempt it. The Lendlease benefited the Soviet Union by sending over light industrial goods so that they could help gear up their heavy production for the war with Germany. We should be in talks with the U.S. to restart the program, replace industrial assistance to Russia with Lend-Lease. So hopefully they can give us a lot of good stuff. Obviously there's, there's no guarantee, but hopefully we get some stuff. Republican militias, Jewish communities, Russian populism, brain drain, which sucks, and American general staff. Yeah, replace industrial lend lease. Okay, well, maybe that's the spirit that they have. That they'll be forced to give us stuff. So, this is all stuff that's done, which is nice. 55. Oh, actually, you know what? What year is it? 52, 56. Uh, get some more soft attack from these guys. 54 is done. Let's get some more heart attack and piercing, maybe? Anything that help. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to be doing that. We want to be building. Well, infrastructure is going to be super important and all, but at least get one thing going for military factories. We're going to need some millies. Promises of peace? No, 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 no. Hold on, Novosibirsk, you're still holding on good. Kill every communist you see. A drop of calm in a chaotic sea. Oh, okay, they get more stuff that won't help them in the war. Opening the Gauntlet International, very cool, very cool. God, I wish I could send volunteers, but we can't. You could recall Tache. Actually, if you do that, that, it seems like you should be able to get, like, maybe some political power back. I don't know, something like that. Oh, oh, they lost Nova Sibiris, did they? No. Oh, now they have. Oh, crap. That's not good. Well. We got the polio vaccine. So, very nice. So, now that's done. We're going to go project or project Russian glory. 70-day focus. Oh, my goodness. Now, at this point, we got to keep our PP, so we can core everything here. So, um, do we have this cord? We do not. Kimarova would be good to core. Uh, Bratsk. No. And this one, we want to do integrate Russian Altai first. Yeah, that's going to be super, super important. So hopefully it's just, you don't have to wait time. You can just click on it and it'll be done. Encryption is done. That's nice. Radar would be nice as well. Artillery, we, well, there's only two things you can get for artillery and that's it so far in the Thousand Week Reich, which kind of sucks, but better motorized infantry. I don't know. That might give us more stats and defenses. All right, so now we can definitely see them. Oh, uh, that's not too strong, which is good to see. These guys are not too strong either. And not too strong. Okay, and you... What form of reform is directed? If you want to read this, please go right ahead. This happens every single time. Wait, we lose liberalism. Are we liberals? We are liberals. Oh, that sucks. Wow, that's really bad. Yeah, that, that, that effect... I don't know if I'd ever really do that again. That just... That's a major setback, so... But Project Russian Glory. Yeah, that's not very good to do. Because you spend so much political power to do this. And then for it just to get rejected, it's so bad. I guess when you do really well with it, it's pretty good, but... Oh, it's so bad. So bad. So guns are okay. Light tanks are okay, too. Air transport equipment? Nah, we're kind of okay. God. This nation it just does not have a lot going for it, now does it? Uh, we need more roads, but we need more factories as well. Um, there, do 50%. Yep, there goes Iraq. What do you expect, Iraq, when you go to war with the UK and their ally, USA? Ah, and they're back. Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. Oh, he's kind of happy. If I saw the second... I mean, I guess I would be pretty happy, too, if... Like, your superiors or people you don't like was overthrown. But look at that. that. They're pretty ideologically divided. Wow. This is cancer. America and the UK create cancer. Jesus. That is disgusting. De Gaulle's back. Having a good old time. Keep making those millies. Wait. Do we need more guns? No, we have 4,200. Artillery's... Oh, get more anti-tank. We gotta get more anti-tank. Get more of this. Get more of that. Oh, my goodness. Need just a spot of rubber. Restoration of the Czechs X house. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and you guys are still killing each other. That's good. Hopefully these guys focus on the West and when they go to war with us or something like that. We got a lot of PP, which is good, 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 good. Swiss government restored. That's good. Czech Republic, Slovak Republic, Swiss Confederation. Tiso is here. And of course, the Czech... Ah, no, of course. Great European refugee crisis. That's all right. You guys have how many divisions? None versus... Now... Oh, the bunch of fascists here, huh? Led, uh, Slovak is gonna win the war, eh? Not bad. A little different than normal, but that's okay with us. More heart attack and piercing, just in case. They went to war with no divisions, and they're like, Oh, don't beat us up! Then don't go to war with them, you ding-dongs. A little bit of Oh, hello! I wonder why there was lag. German Confederal Union? Nice. We did it, my friends. Immigration, rigged elections. I don't really care about that for now. 
Attracting investors? Ooh, more cities would be really nice. Our economy could get a much needed boost from some wealthy com companies investing in economic development. Good. Oh, does it happen automatically? It should, right? There's three states here, so we're going to do that one first. Give it a day. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We don't have to wait. And America goes to a war with the Greeks. Is it because they didn't pay back any of their debts? Do we get any factors from that? Not too much. Germany surrenders? Well, that's good. Um, but at least this is now core, so we don't have to garrison. And additionally, now we get whatever factories or, I guess, fuel silos they have there. Oh, God, there's nothing here. Which, of course, we do get some more compliance, but even then, it doesn't really matter too much. Now we got to save up for 20 more political power-ish. So we can do it well with that stuff. Actually, let's look at the American Spear for now. Just because... Oh. Supply anti-German rebels. That's good. MacArthur's still here. Uh, hopefully they can help us out. Where are they at? Where are they? Where, where are they in their tree? Oh, down here. Support people's German... Uh, they kind of don't exist. Alright. But, let's see what America's got. United Nations Nation, American Hegemony, Economic Miracle, American Industry, Memories of the Pacific War, uh, Segregation. Alright, Control in the Skies, Excessive Inflation. What about helping us? Le oh, good, yes. Civilian Industry to Target Country plus 3% plus 2%. Home of the... F wow. America is not messing around. America is doing what America does best. Bring us to Kaelin. I think I want to do that one too. Four plant, more civvies would be really good. The longer we wait, the stronger that we get. And the stronger the Soviet Union will get too, but there's a point where we, where we get strong enough we can hold our own. But the Ford Motor Company is looking to expand into other countries. Should they set up a factory in Vladivostok area? They should. Not bad. Looking a little better. This is looking slightly better. We're only making, trying to make two divisions. We have 23 divisions. So as long as we have enough divisions to hold, hold the line, that's the most important thing, at least to me. So 55. Radar could be pretty beneficial. Light aircraft, get some jet engines. That'd be good. Motorize. We don't really need that many, but it's all right. Agreement with opposition. It's not really worth it. I'm not sure if that'll do anything for us. Ah, screw it. We'll do it once. Why not? What else are we going to spend our PP on? All right, and we're looking relatively okay against these guys. Actually, how is it? It's you know what? Maybe we'll start the border war. Maybe we'll start the border war. Why not? Standardized housing projects. We only have twenty-three divisions. There's there thirty-five. I mean, of course, we have an extra four that I'm not really counting. I wish we had more factories than them now. Look at that. Nice. Keep building us up. Maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit more civvies. Another civvy, maybe thirty. Fifty percent is really nice. All right, so we'll do that, and then, boom. Civvies first, though. It's not that many civvies, but whatever. Four plant would be nice. Foreign funding, how, roads, industrial equipment, electronics, electronics, offshore oil. I want to get the Cicalans next. Free Cicalan. All Americans have occupied the island of Cicalan since the end of the war. It's time for the people of Cicalan to join the Republic. Hopefully they say yes. Go ahead and grab that. It's only 83 days. That's not too bad. Nice. Yeah, hopefully Fortress of Kaelin, if we need to, if we absolutely need to, hopefully we don't need that, but the four plants going to be nice. Jammu and Kashmir are capitulated. India is becoming more united, which is pretty good, probably. So it can help to contest uh, the Chinese. Wow, that is a very weird hairdo you got, India. I don't think Pakistan is really going to like that, but oh well. Oh, occupation. Why do we care about this? Huh. <laughs> Baltic cooperation. Uh, Soviet Republic of Ukraine. That is not good. Anti-German coalition. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should try it. After freeing Sakhalin, the Soviet border, it's only two weeks, so it's, it's, it's going to be pretty darn quick when we get there, so. Not bad. Two more of those. Anti-tank is not looking too bad. I'm sure they got tons of equipment, though. Where we have not... And when we do go to war, hopefully, I'm hoping, that someone can give us some supplies, like America or something like that. No guarantees, obviously. Actually, if we had to encircle somebody, it'd probably best go here to here to here. Mm, one, two, three, four. You might just be able to make it down here. Prepare defenses will be nice for more defense. Let's grab some operational assault. Because at least we can circle that many guys, so that actually is probably a good idea. Even though, is there supply issues down here? Hopefully there's not. One, two, three, four. Just barely enough. We'll have to use those horses very strongly. But seriously, where's Pavel? Pavel left us. Oh. Why, Pavel, why? Well, we're pretty paternal autocratic with Rogozin. Rogozin. Very nice. Keep building, building, building. 
The next one will be done. Wow, almost 400 days. My goodness, that's insane. That's not even going to help us out that much anyways. Wow. Now we'll do the Soviet board because we can. Eidolfsburg Velvaltungsrat has capitulated. Sakhalin so returned. It's been returned to us from the American occupation. Nice. Does it give us anything slightly more... Look at that population, 300,000. There's nothing down here, though. Except roads and potential radar stations. There's li literally just roads and... Oh! For oil. We love the oil. The Soviet border. We've reached the border of the Soviet Union. Now we have to choose how to negotiate with the other government in Russia. Russia will be victorious in the end. Let's hope so. Um, buy up oil production. Uh, I don't want to do that one. It's, military factories would be really good, though. We need heavy steel work, so up the iron production. Iron's, never has iron been more important than nowadays. Okay, do we have any new decisions here? Oil, that's nice. Meet with the unions. Functional democracy. Well, we don't have that. Soviet diplomacy. Negotiate a border. Friendly stance. Huh. Son, son and non-aggression pact. Russian united front. Let's take a look at this a little bit more. It is 56 now, so that's not too bad. I propose a two-state solution. Provoke the Soviet Union. Hostile stance. Move into the Union. So, wait. What do we do here? Do we have to wait for them to do stuff to us? I don't want to spend my PP improving relations, but I guess we can try it. That's quite a bit of PP every day, but we get 1.06 anyway, so that's okay, I guess. Do we, do we just have to wait here for until things go go on, maybe? I don't know. Because after Germany dies, this is disgusting. What the heck happened here? I guess it's a colony state? Oh my goodness. You got saved by America, and you're not even a puppet of them. Fanatical revolts, that's kind of nice. Uh, Slovak state, stole by T. No, you're still fighting them. You're still at war with the, basically the Allies, the Toronto Accord. So basically, what they did, they must have released Bohemia as a puppet. Oh, well, not even, no, no, not even as a puppet. Not even as a puppet. And this way they'd be protected as long as no one else joins the Toronto Accords. Okay. And Bulgaria is what it is. I thought America took out the Hellenic state. Oh, no, they're in the Civil War. Victor, you're looking kind of old. Okay. Versus Aris Velozutziotis. He's a cornered fox, definitely cornered, but... Okay. I don't mind doing some of this, but I don't want her to consumer goods, even though we've already done pretty darn well with this stuff. Up the iron production, even doing this won't give us get us that far. Heavy steel works, a steel refining and construction plant will serve many interests, and help us gain self-sufficiency over industry. So we're trying to improve relations with these guys. Can we do anything about that with Soviet diplomacy? Do, I guess we have to wait for them, do, do we? Oh, man. Mm, I want to improve our working conditions. I want more stability. You know what, finish the civvies first before we do the radar. Even though radar is pretty quick to build. Other than that, we're looking quite a bit better on anti-tank. Support equipment and artillery as well, so that's good, but... We're definitely the underdog here in Russia. Well, of course, we had the warlords, but between us two, we're, we're definitely the underdog. After this, I might just do a, a couple focuses off-screen until something else happens. Just because... Why do we care about the pacification of Germany? Huh. 96% stability is pretty good as well. What are these guys up to? Fully integrate the armor into the NKVD? Oh, they may have more divisions now. We do have 27, though. That's good to say. We do have 27. They're mostly just infantry, but not bad. Not bad. We're going to need some airplanes. Airplanes? Airplanes here, too. Alright, so with that in mind, maybe we'll just upgrade, create, actually create an agency. Rookie, Rook. If you think. I don't know if this is the final episode or not at the time of this recording, so. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say anymore. 40s? We do have some 40 combo with infantry that I would love to use. Do we have anti-air? Do we, we, we're making some anti-air. We don't have a lot of sport equipment, though. We don't have a lot of anything, so, um, heavy steel works is nice. Uh, let's read a few more, in which we'll read Russian well or aim for self-sufficiency. We need to be able to sustain ourselves in a war, whether with allies or fighting alone. Food and fishing, resources, and industry, all will work towards a common goal. And I'll read a few more just in case, like expanding the national arms factories. We should expand the factory and amplify production. Capital region strategy. Vladivostok is our lifeline. We'll focus on improving the infrastructure and services to guarantee it serves the role of a national capital. The election for the presidency wasn't exactly an election per se, as citizens are more concerned with ensuring their own survival and gaining of basic amenities. Engaging in voting is 
far down their list of desires as such. The race was voted upon the deputies of the legislature. Now that some time has passed, and our nation stands in a much different place than it was before, there's been considerable talk by both camps within the Duma to begin the slow process of democratization, namely the arrangement of rigged elections. Providing a facade of democracy may just be enough to put most citizens at ease and continue their faith and trust in our administration. Allowing us to worry less about such concerns as such, it is pertinent that we draft concrete election cycles for the for the for the foreseeable future. And despite our nation being one of the hard one of hard workers, cultured elites, and proud patriots, the workforce is significantly lower than our neighbors. Certain aspects of our economy lag behind while others advance at a steady pace. Something must be done to increase the flow of skilled labor into the workforce and reinforce and strengthen the economy at a breakneck speed. Our government has come up with an obvious solution, the institution of an immigration program, allowing both skilled and unskilled laborers from the various states to the West to be processed more easily, as well as possibly looking towards America for highly skilled workers. Despite the apprehension by some members of government, such policies are a necessity if our national economy is to continue to survive and prosper. So, it's very weird. Why do we get an arbitrary 132,000 manpower? I don't know, but I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So here we are, and I've just finished up planning or planning rigged elections. We got rigged elections. We're here to stay. We lose some stability, and we get some more, a lot more political power. Wow! But let's go and do like stimulus plan. Many of our regions are lacking in jobs and motivation to work. By funding large-scale construction efforts across the nation, we'll be able to stimulate the economy. So we'll lose quite a bit of political power and consumer goods. We get 100% more construction speed. Also, I did like meet the opposition one again. We got welfare reforms done. So this little modifier is going to go away a little bit soon. We get. A little bit more stability. We got a little more monthly population. It was nice and all, but it, it's okay. And we're, I'll be honest, we're kind of running out of things to do here. Um, we're building up a lot of roads, as you can see. Camera Rubble, it would be nice to have some more uh, planes, I guess. I guess if we really want more planes there, I guess we could do that as well, perhaps. We do have radar, which will help out, but nothing has really gone on off screen at all. I'm a little disappointed, but that's okay. I know this nation's going to get a rework eventually. Um, yeah, just there goes welfare reforms. We lost some more stability. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, just, as I said earlier, this stuff is not worth it, but we'll probably do, the, do at least this one later on. Mm. Other than that, there's just really not much going on. We're just waiting for things to happen. Uh, I guess we can read up the next one after this, stop the brain drain. So, many talented people leaving Russia for America in pursuit of a better life and education. We need to take action to improve possibilities here and stop our suffering, and then we'll probably reinvigorate the Far Eastern University. Uh, might as well read that one. Higher education has long been provided by small local institutions of, or foreigners, but no more. The Far Eastern University was, found, was closed under Stalin, but it shall be opened up once again. Very nice. Stimulus plan is next. And we should have some research done. Good for mission flying. Uh, well, let's grab some dive bombing. And actually, now we're doing both sides of the land auction, so we get more population, reinforce rate, minimum training levels, as well as infrastructure reserve, which speeds this up quite a bit more. And then we'll grab, you know, wartime industry. We'll grab some large-scale exercises when things get done. We can do some of this as well. We have 0.87 uh, political power every single day. It's not great, but actually this should be just zoom in for now. Um, in the meantime, let's go and just 100% nice, 100%, might as well, I guess. And then we'll really try to boost up uh, more military factories because we could really use some more millies. Uh, guns are looking okay, not great. Everything else is, we're starting to get a nice supply of stuff. We have 31 infantry divisions, which is pretty darn good, I'd say. But obviously, I wish it was a few more things, but... Uh, aeronautical studies or aeronaut aeronautic studies the j age of jet engines is here our universities need to keep up with it at times and will support projects to study aviation war college to train capable officers we need a military institution I did artillery gun production already so we can make larger guns as well not very much there construction boom oh that's actually really nice our stimulus economics has been successful and the country is experiencing a type of construction boom starting up Siberian industrial cities the great city industrial cities in Siberia have been left under ruins from warlord rule we will build roads and get them running again so all this stuff is actually pretty nice. Opening the Vladivostok docks. Vladivostok has a necessary infra structure for large-scale shipbuilding. We will utilize this Naval Design Bureau. We have to create our own naval ships' designs in order to stay competitive. A bureau will take care of this task. But let's grab that extra research slot as we read through some more focuses. Expanding dockyards. The time is right for making Vladivostok a true shipbuilding city. Very cool. A, rush, a white Russia fleet. Our fleet should act as a proud defender of the seas around us or a coastal defense fleet. Uh, the fleet doesn't need to be, be need, doesn't need to be anything more than a safeguard of our coastline. Uh, stimulus plan is gone. Naval heavy artillery design and production of naval artillery guns will aid us in designing our native ship designs. Our free trade agreement with Japan. We have solved our territorial disputes with Japan. Maybe it's time to create a trade relationship. Fighter purchase. The U.S. Air Force can always spare fighter planes to its allies. Joint air exercises. An air fighting joint exercise with the U.S. Air Force will help us both refine our tactics and gain valuable experience. Airplane production. We should try and start getting airplane production rolling. Uh, naval sale. The U.S. Navy has a lot of old ships that are going to be scrapped soon, except for the fact that we'll likely find use for them. 
Soon we should purchase these ships for cheap price. Naval joint exercises. A naval joint, naval fighting joint exercise with the U.S. Navy will help us both refine our tactics and gain valuable experience. Fleet planning, that's a good idea. What a great description. Less least American dockyards. Our advisors don't believe that we have the capacity for our own ship building, but the Americans do. Anything else we can do here yet? Kicks our biochemical research. Not really worth it, I'll be honest. So we might do that one later on, but we'll see. After this one, construction boom will be very good for even more construction speed, even more factory output. Because I want to keep getting more army XP and training our soldiers so that we can really use... Um, oh, that's actually really good for us. More uh, 40 combo with divisions. Like, I actually do want to use 40 combo with divisions here. So it is 40, 57. Can't quite do that one yet. Uh, let's see. Mountaineers. We'll grab some special forces because we can. I'm not sure what else to grab for now. Uh, let's see. We have that one. Buy Sherman tanks. The U.S. Army has faced slight demobilization. Uh, and they consider many of their old Sherman tanks outdated. We should buy these for our tank force. American heavy equipment. The U.S. could probably send us some artillery guns as well. Joint land, land joint exercise. An army fighting joint exercise with the U.S. Army will help us both refine our tactics and gain valuable experience. Equipment research. Our army needs new equipment. The Americans can help us in re researching new types of infantry and artillery weapons. Local assembly. The factories in our lands must run and assemble parts in our tanks. Not bad. American industrial equipment, American equipment and tools like modern robotics, automation, etc. will help us in getting our production in working order. Study and buy and study computers. Computers are the future. Sadly, Russia was never known for its advanced technology. Now we have an opportunity to catch up and utilizing computers. Computers are very useful. We should use them in our staff. Or use, use them in our stuff. Offshore oil? Certain engineers have heard rumors about there being an abundance of oil at the seafloor near the Far East Coast. Now the technology to gather this oil is young, but why don't we take the leap? We could. We very, very well could. But, as you see, we're just kind of hanging out, having a good time. I don't want to hurt our research speed, but we do have four research slots now. And there's not a whole ton of research, so, ah, screw it, we'll do it anyways. I click on that, and we got dive bombing done. Very nice. Uh, engineering, maybe. I guess better radar, because we're using it anyways. And it's only 44 days, which is actually pretty darn good, I'd say. Uh, what else we have here? Some pre-war attack bombers. We obviously don't have a lot of stuff here. But both of you train, you might as well. Very nice, very nice. Army 3, or you? Army 1, 3, there you go. Construction boom, start up uh, the Siberian industrial cities. Let's get some more land action stuff going just because it'd be good. But we shall reconvene when hopefully we can go to war with the USSR. All right, everyone. So now it is November 21st, 1959, and I've been staring at the screen for quite a while. And we're finally at war. So, literally, like a day or two ago, the Soviet Union declared war on us. This is a defensive war, which is something that we wanted. We've got 48 divisions, and they've got. A lot more potentially. So, wow, that really looks very pixelated over here. But anyways, um, hopefully we do well. So, yeah, let's do well, shall we? We shall. Just head on down south, cut off at least four divisions, and American support. A shipment has arrived from our friends in the U.S. with thousands of rifles and other articles of infantry equipment to aid us in our fight. This is certainly welcome. Excellente. Let's see what they give us. Oh, I love Douglas MacArthur. And actually, he got re-elected off screen, too. I love big old Dougie. But we better send some, some boys this way to it. Hopefully we can do pretty darn well. It says we can do well anyway, so maybe we'll try it. Overall, not too bad so far. Let's see. Do we have any planes training? Ooh, Western Siberia. What are you doing over there? Uh, there you go. Good luck. Hopefully we do well. Um, I... 15,000 dead already? That is basically nothing to the Soviet Union, though. Unfortunately, because, well, the Soviet Union's have a lot of guys. Maybe you didn't know that. The Soviet Union does have a lot of guys. Before we get too far into this war, though, let's take a double check. Konev... Ca casually three or four million manpower. Casually about a million barrels of oil or w fuel. Um, we can't tell the stockpile of stuff, but actually, let's double check. We're going to send our women over and see what they're all about in the USSR. I hope we do well, because I made one of these uh, division, one of these little armies, except for a few divisions, literally just 40 combat width. Mm, we're doing okay. We're, we got some plastic explosives, which is very nice. We killed off 45,000. I thought this, well, this, the war's not over yet. I don't want to say too much before the war's over. I mean, the war's basically literally started less than a week ago. And we're still doing some focuses here. And we actually were rejected a few times trying to get some, buying some equipment, especially the tanks. We didn't get any extra tanks, but it is what it is. Oh, I, no wonder you guys aren't moving. Keep going, guys. We're doing well so far. Hopefully we can uh, use this to our advantage. 62,000 are bad. Bowelbow takes power. Is he smoking? Oh, no. How dare you? You are a smoker. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not very good for your health. Order. Okay, we'll buy some weapons, some convoys from the Japanese. So far, pretty good. They refuse a deal. The Japanese defense officials have refused a purchase proposal. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. It is 59. It's almost 1960. Let's grab... Oh, I forgot to do this stuff. 
Whoopsie! <laughs> Some of you guys in the comments must be like, Oh my gosh, Mr. Mocha Lover, why are you so dumb? And the only response I have to say to that is, uh, I forget. I don't play a lot of Thousand Week Reich, so... Oh, we'll probably go decentralized. Let's go disperse this time. American sport. <laughs> Americans really don't like uh, the USSR. Even though we're still led by Vlasov, huh? Oh, they guess they. Oh, look at that. They annexed. Oh, so apparently it looks like that the you know the Soviet Ukraine took out Gotenland and then they got annexed. Oh man, that's a lot. No wonder they had so many divisions. Konstantin Kom Komaradi wounded. Oh, that's not good. Any other things here? Infantry expert. Yes, please. He's been wounded. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Oh, are we losing a battle here? That's not... Oh, never mind. Machine-assisted decryption. Very nice. Oh, actually, do we have a cryptology? Oh, no, we don't. No. No. And then, uh... No. There you go. 42 days is not bad, even though the war... I doubt the war will be over by then, but casualties... We've taken 6,000 versus 130,000 so far. That's insane. Guys, please. You don't need to worry about this group over here. Please don't worry about this group. We need you to keep moving to Perm. Oh, we actually can sort of see what um, divisions I have. Wait, what did... Hold on. I want to make sure we do this correctly. Thank you. That should be better. Get some more planning done. Get to the front lines, please, please, please. And make sure that we have enough infrastructure, enough supplies, because supplies, I'm sure, over here are not very good. We do have some radar, but even that's getting kind of far away at this point. Three, two, go ahead. Just, just keep going, keep going, keep going. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Some might say, you're doing a fabulous job. 1v1, can you win? Maybe. Maybe. We lost 7,000 versus... A lot. Not sure what else to say. Kuming wounded? Ooh. That sounds very weird. Can we order some more convoys? Welfare reforms? I guess I was doing some welf more welfare reforms off screen. Is what it is? Okay, Japan. Please, baby. Come on, Japan. Loosen up. <laughs> the Americans loosen up. I love it. We need more artillery and uh, anti-tank. That's not good. Say to Japan, if we have to, we'll improve relations with you. So, Nice. Large front operations. What does that do? Oh, supply consumption goes down by 20%. Oh, big tastiness. Oh. Mm. We should see very little uh, supply issues then, right? Okay. Even that wasn't very good. Okay. Uh, now they're trying to attack us quite a bit. We should, maybe we should be a little bit more concerned at this point, but... I mean, we're having such success. I don't want to give up the success just yet. This is so nice. Oh, if you want to help them out, that's fine with me, too. There you go. Are they... Oh, look at that. They're just... Of course, they're militia divisions, but they're just dying like crazy. God dang, these tanks aren't even very good. I, haven't, I don't think I even edited these tanks. Spain joins the Toronto Court? What is this? TNO with... Look at this. I mean, I didn't even, I, the only thing I edited it in was a main battle tank. That was literally it. Well, we weren't taking too much for in terms of damage or breakthrough, but keep going. Uh, losses 10,000, oh, 25,000 ish versus over a quarter of a million. We've kill, got, killed so many of them. They have only 86 divisions left. We're not even that strong. I, we've got two fuel. America! I want to suck on some of that oil. Oh, that's nice. We need more fuel. Uh, supply is still pretty bad. Oh, I mean, it's level one. What do you expect? There you go. Keep building, building, building. We're doing a good job so far. Uh, can we see how much of what they have of anything? 83 divisions. All right, what do they have? RPGs, no. RPG 43s, yes. Lots of... In oh, there goes Iberian Pact. Goodbye. And we're almost done with us, too. Nice. Just in case, you guys are still... She's back home. There's no one else we can really throw around here. Maybe we could do that, perhaps? I don't know. And we've done so well so far. I really don't want to stop this. We overran another division. Wow. 81 divisions still there. 80, no, 80, 80 divisions still there. Nice. Engineers are very good. It is 1860. God, there needs to be more technology for 1860s artillery. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but... Oh, baby. Um, Yeah, I'll get some of that. Yeah, I'll do that one more. Because we're going to need more stuff right now. Uh, you help them out. God. Dang, I, I want to know what land auction that went down. I would love to know. Actually, don't do that. Go here. Go here instead. You can kill them off this way. Literally kill them off. Like, three divisions. Dead. Three dead divisions. Now you go in. There you go. See? Work smarter. Work smarter, not harder. Get some buddies in there. You're, you're, how, how many attacks are we doing? American support, great. They agree to sell their equipment. 
What equipment do we buy? Oh, fighters. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Join air exercises? Sure, why not? A lot of this relies on Americans for, to support us, but... You know, it could be worse. And Vlasov is still doing a good job. Any other things here? Yes, yes. Effective doctrine? Yes. Oh, uh, get recovery rate. That'd be nice, too. I'm sure we're out of a lot of equipment right now, but... It is what it is. Let's grab some more max speed for construction. Passive defense. And we're done with this. Great! I've done this for quite a, quite a while. Off, off screen today. Hmm. Go in there. They will die. Almost half a million are dead. Now they have only one and a half times their normal uh, you know, division rate. At this point, we're going to stop attacking. Finish up your attacks, guys, but we got to really kind of reassert our planning skills. So at this point, actually... Ooh, oh, you guys, hold it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's get some more planning going. And you guys, let's go ahead and have you guys go somewhere else. Supplies are pretty bad. We don't have a lot of strength right now. We're going to go to Chelyabinsk. Sounds like a fun place to be. Because we're missing a lot of artillery, anti-tank, all sorts of that stuff. Not very good. We're going to need more of this. Go down there. That's fine. Uh, we're not really using too many main battle tanks, but I don't want to take that off. Um, anything else? Not really. Just get ourselves situated first. Get ourselves situated. Good. Two men. American support. Great. I'm not sure what they're sending, but I'll take it. Whatever it is. All right, dig in, guys, because you actually have a lot of entrenchment. I'd love to attack here. We don't have enough divisions, though. Last off, any other upgrades so far? Infantry expert. That's very good. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that is not good. We're suffering from attrition here as well. That is really just not good. Nice. I like it when we see those types of numbers. It still says you guys can keep going, so I guess we'll keep going, I suppose. Um, hmm. Just go right there. Don't worry about him. Don't let him. Don't let him break through, though. Disperse industry. Nice. Get some extraction too. Those horses are literally going to die there or something. Holy crud! All right, so you can't make an instrument with Soviet, whatever. Uh, what if? Ooh, I want to kind of force the attack, but at the same time, that's probably a really bad idea. We've lost a hundred thousand now. Successful exercises. Very nice. They've lost. Do we have more divisions than them? No, we do not. They still have 75. We're going to go and do airplane production for another military factory, which we could desperately, desperately need. American sports, very nice. This is obviously one way you definitely don't want to take these guys out, because it's very damaging. But oh well. Okay, maybe we should stop doing that. They don't like us very much, apparently. I don't know what's wrong with them, but whatever. Alright, we're still doing a good job. For the most part. I should put, like, uh, maintenance companies on these guys to scavenge equipment. Uh, let's grab that. That's, that's very nice. We're doing a great job. 75 divisions still. Not, that's, that's still too many divisions for me personally, but... Oh, man, they are holding out like crazy, but they might just lose. Oh, come on. Are they doing the last stand? Desperate defense? Something like that. I don't know. You guys hold. Don't worry about it. You guys go right there. Oh, come on. Why'd you guys show up here? No. No. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't let them in. Don't, why'd you let them in? Why'd you let them in, man? Yeah, the northern parts are kind of garbage. Wow, our mechanizers are looking so bad. So again, then again, their divisions are as well. They've lost three quarters of a million. We've lost less than 200,000 so far. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. 70 divisions left. They're out of artillery, it looks like, hopefully. They're out of RPGs. They got loads of rifles. But other than that, a few planes, a few uh, motorized. Not bad. 72 divisions left, come on. They're down to 2 million manpower. Nice. They're on extensive conscription. And we're only on extensive conscription as well. Oh, we should go to war economy. That should help out, right? A little bit. Uh, and I, I built a lot of roads already around here. Oh, yes. <gasps> yeah, yeah, guys. Give us more stuff. Yeah. We got we have more than enough guns. They must be sending us so many guns. So many guns. Go, tanks, go. Actually, cut them off if you can. Right there. No pass that on. Oh, well. Okay. Nice. Airplane production. Naval Design Bureau. Why not? This is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. There's 67 divisions. We're going to finish this area off, which is going to be very nice. Uh, anywhere else wants more upgrades? Oh, the Talos. Oh, fighting amount is going to suck, 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 suck. Build what you can. It doesn't really matter to me too much. American support. Great. they got to be sending more guns, don't, aren't they? America does not like communists or fascists. Usually. I don't want to say they're shattered, because they're definitely not shattered yet, but... We're doing real good. Really nice. 
we're getting very closer to the capital. Almost a million losses. For us, a quarter million. Oh my goodness. We are the beast from the east that will not give up on Russia. I, I know it's a waste of time doing that, but we're going to do it anyways because we can. Keep going. God dang it, Japan. Oh, man, I want to blow them. I'm going to nuke them. If only we could. If only we could nuke them. I can't wait to see what type of rework these guys will get, though. I'm kind of interested, actually. Uh, okay, so there you go. That's what I want you guys to do. Good, good, good. Keep going with construction. Keep going with dispersed output. That's good, good, good. Because we can really use it. I mean, we're, we're in Europe now, so. Oh, we're past here. Look at that. Are we taking over Perm? Nice. Over a million dead. They have only 15 more divisions than us, even though we were outnumbered like 3 to 1 or something stupid like that. So, you find them, you kill them. Even though our guys are looking really bad right now. We're pushing. We're still pushing, man. We're still pushing. It's not a great push, but it's still a push. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Blast off. You're doing a great job. You might not have won the elections, but you won the people's hearts and minds. Well, we shot them enough times for them to see your reason. We'll put it like that. All right. Up next, maybe get more extraction. No, let's grab some more of this mass production. You're gonna lose? No, 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 not today. Naval Design Bureau expanding dockyards. Yes, please. Three more naval dockyards. Very nice. Oh, more. Fa oh, thank goodness we got actually some more factories. Are we out of guns now? Actually, almost, almost. Get some more of that. Get some more of that too. All right. So it looks like we're pretty exhausted at this point. So let's stop doing that. You guys come over here. Get ready. Keep rumbling. Keep get ready. We definitely ain't done yet. All right, now go ahead and rest up. Rest up, rest up, rest up. We're going to do combined arms instead of cavalry because we have more tanks and mechanized and motorized. More, more motorized and mechan mechanized than cavalry, so that'll be good. Oh, we got that description done. Nice. Very nice. We got to do that too. Oh, now they're attacking us. That's not good. Counterattacks. Oh, boy. American sports. Very nice. Well, if they really want to attack us, I mean, we can oblige them. and They can maybe win some places, but it's not going to work very well for them. Poor tank divisions. Oh, they're slowly trying to beat us back. Oh, we need more manpower. Oh, look at that. Oh, huh, who knew? Um, there you go. I guess we can go in there if you want. Maybe we should raise our conscription level. There we go. That should probably help out, right? <laughs> I'll get some more military factory construction speed. That'd be very good. I spy a potential encirclement. Go ahead and beat him up there. Oh, that's not good. I mean, if you really want to piss us off, you could, we could do this. There you go. Oh, you actually were defeated. That sucks. No. Alright, now they're definitely fighting back. Oh, nice. Even more breakthrough in organization. Good, good, good. I gotta give you guys a break sometime, man. Shatter them if you can, but... Oh, that is not ideal. We need more divisions here, definitely. Break those tanks. Break them, break them, break them. At this point, yeah, we're really out of anti-tank and all that good stuff. Oh my goodness. And for the most part, we're still holding, so that's not bad. Two million manpower, less than two, yeah, around two million. Water is very good this time of uh, night, day, whatever what time you're, you're watching this. Not bad. Oh, they got more supplies. That sucks. Expanding dockyards, naval sales. Why not? Um, there's no good place to help out here. I definitely want to attack here though. Good. Maybe we'll go try to make an instrument. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do with these guys. Good. And beat them up. Good. Let them try to beat you up. And that's good. Help them out. I'm kind of ignoring everything up here, which is probably not a good idea to do. They can attack here quite harshly, but we're going to continue attacking down here as well. Uh, over here, maybe... There you go. You can help out, maybe. Save ourselves some guns and such. Wow, this is going wild up there. Oh, we got the radar. That's actually really good. Push in. 
Good. Well, from hey, well, for reforms are passed. Nice. We've lost almost half a million now, so they're definitely trying to improve themselves. We haven't lost any divisions yet, hopefully. Oh, help them out, help them out. Nice. Are Kutsk? Are yikes? Huh, yikes. Nice. Hopefully, we can core some of this territory. That's going to be extremely important to core territory. Then again, I mean, we're at pretty high compliance levels as well here, so that's pretty good too. Uh, they're still attacking in some of these locations. Yeah, you want to do that? Okay, you can die then. Go die, you son of a gun. Oh, I lost the tank division. That sucks. Oh, well, it is what it is. Help him out. That's good. We lost the division there. We're going to lose both. Tiles. That's not good. Oh, they're pretty weak. Push them in. Nice. You want to help out? All right. Good. You want to help out? Okay. Looking pretty good for us. Help them out here too anyways. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So how's this stuff looking? That's looking a little better. Not that much better, but a little better. So push them back over the river. Over the river you go. There's going to be a lot of dead Soviets. Nice. Hopefully they can't break us here and there. Or I'll hopefully will be ours very soon. Help them out here. Help them out. Help them out. How's the north looking? It's still looking like it's holding for now. Hey, I got this effort done too. Nice. That's pretty good. I want to attack there, but we don't have enough divisions right now. Um, What else we got going on here? A little bit of manpower still. Still mobilizing a little bit, which is nice. Anything else? War bonds. There's a war support. That's fine for now. Now oh, I can do that. And make another military factory, because we can really use them. 100%, 100%. There you go. Alright, well, they keep attacking, so they should be losing more divisions. Oh! Yay! More equipment. Naval sale. Naval joint exercises. Hey, America, yes! Is this a one-time thing, or is this... On a monthly basis. Oh, nice. We'll take whatever you got, man. We'll take whatever you got, M Douglas MacArthur. It ain't much, but it's honest business-ish, sort of. All right, so that's why we want to go there. You guys can go there next. Smash them up, smash them up. God, I'd love to do another general attack, but we don't have the resources for it right now. Oh, disperse industry. Welcome, welcome. Cool, and let us grab what? It's 1961, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's go there. We almost have 100 factories. How many factories do they have? Seven, 70, 137. 137, that's quite a few. Help them out. Man, they really don't want to die. We must not have air superiority up here. No, we do not. Oh, that's why. And when we started doing worse and worse and worse. Um, we don't. They don't have the Baikal region, but they can probably trade into there. That kind of sucks. Let's get those guys in there. So they stopped attacking, which is kind of nice, but still. Still making more divisions. They need to push out somewhere up here, but they're looking not too weak. They will probably attack eventually again. Uh, where do we want to go here, maybe? Let's see what we can do. We need more resources. Nice, 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 nice. Are we lacking anti-air? Yes, we are, but not too much. Good. Good. We're slowly getting more territory. Thank you, America. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. Alright, up next. Um, can you guys actually go up there? No, you cannot. You guys can go there. You guys can go right there. And we can use you guys to go right there, too. So, which means you guys can come down here. Nice. You guys go into there. They're definitely not attacking anywhere else. And it's kind of slowed down quite a bit. But that just means that we can hopefully have more time 
to gain more resources for ourselves, get more equipment as we're slowly making stronger attacks. We have a lot of guns, a lot of guns now. I love it. Oh, they're attacking us. I love it. Attack them right back. As long as these guys have no guns, we'll do okay. Oral? You don't need that. We need that. Thank you. Come again. Good. Military construction is faster. Gotta be even faster military construction. Very nice, very nice. Let them spread out a little bit first. I'll take up here next. Successful joint action exercises. Very good. A white Russia fleet. Fleet and being. Trade interdiction. Doesn't really matter. White Russia fleet. Yes. You can probably honestly do that by yourselves, but opening up the combat with always can be a little bit nice. Good. Up next. What else? We're only out 6,000 RPGs. That's all. <laughs> only 6,000 RPGs out. Let's see. Here maybe. Potentially. Maybe. Yes. America loves us, man. Cool. Let's grab some of that. A synthetic refinery would be very nice this time of year. Anything else? Let's see. Doing pretty darn well. We've exhausted ourselves to a degree, but not too much. Not to the point where we can't recover from this, so. Uh, you guys go there. Both of you. Eh. Save one division for now. Both of you help support the attack, though. There you go. There you go. Nice, nice. Oh, you guys are moving to. Ah, you, you'll go wherever you need to go, so. They're still not attacking. I'd love to break over here, though, and circle these guys. We actually might want to try that then. Up to 79 divisions, that's still not too bad. We have 104 factories, not bad, not bad. Payment for equipment, not great. Well, that's actually good to get rid of that. Make more military factories. We need them. All right. You're going to help me help lead the attacks into here. You guys just go straight into there. That's fine. You should do fine with, with almost no problem. I thought so. Weaken them because they really wanted to kill us off. Get these guys get back up here so we can come over here. Let's go in. Make a mad dash for it, guys. Make a mad dash. This is probably suicidal, but that's okay. Help them out since they don't want to listen to us. Go, go, go. Horses, go. Don't let them move. Do not let them move. That first one's gone. American support. We love it. We love America. Keep heading on down. You guys stay there for now. That's such a risky gambit. You guys attack these guys here. Keep going. Keep going. Someone just get down here. Don't let them move. No movement for these guys is allowed. There we go. We've got them. One, two, three, four, five. It's only five divisions, but that's five divisions that we won't have to worry about. Nice. Five more gone. I still have way too many. Not good. All right, we gotta keep making more encirclements. But with them gone, look at that. Our RPGs are looking much better. We made about 500 more, so we have 500 more RPGs to work with. Uh, a good one would be right here. And three, two, one, let's go. You should have that pretty easily, actually. Welfare reform's gone. Unfortunate White Russia fleet. And he naval heavy artillery? Why not? Good. Kill them off. All of you guys just help support the attack. That should die pretty darn quickly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wasn't a big old victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, let's see. Anywhere up here, one, two would be really nice to achieve, if possible. We actually have quite a few light tanks, huh? How many factories do we have on light tanks? We have three mediums, which is fine for now. APCs, light tanks is just one. Great. Ah, good. We just got more breakthrough in organization for tanks, and now concurrent frontal assaults. More max planning, not bad. More planning speed's okay. Not super ideal, but that's okay. There you go, you should be able to get it done. Oh, yes, America, yes. Help them out. Nice. Just hang out for now, and we want to get destroy that tank division. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, have a good old time.
Surround it on all sides. Keep hitting it until it breaks down. Very good. Not bad. All right. Anywhere else we want to go? Uh, I kind of want to see me back down here. I kind of like fighting down in the southern part here. Up here is not nearly as much fun, I think. Me thinks that. But maybe we'll race for the river. One, two, three. Oh, you're there. Good job, guys. Keep going. Oh, they wanted to stop us? Not on this crazy train, no sure. Sir, you will not move out of there, please. Thank you very much. Um Ah uh, Very good. Goodbye. Have a good day. Or oh, you're dead now, so never mind. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll try something like that. Well, they're up to 80 divisions total. I really want to do just another general attack, but we just can't afford it. Ace by promoted, very nice, very nice. Don Cossack's lead, very good. Excavation 3, very good. Let's grab some more extraction, shall we? Yes, we shall. There you go. Do pulling, because we can. American support, very good. And actually, we've got some more here. Oh, that's actually very nice. Huh. Keep researching them. Can our infantry do anything anywhere, maybe? Maybe not. Mm, we could probably push into here. Nah, their organization just dropped to the floor. And we love it when that happens. Alright, so... You guys are taking forever to move. What's taking so long? They're having a panic attack, it looks like. So those guys are useless then. Alright, let's just push up then. Goodbye. And we'll get the airbase too, so they can't use it against us. Ooh, military factories. Uh, we need some more tungsten. Oh, baby boy, we do need quite a bit more. It's fine, let's import some more. That should help out quite a bit. Nice. And help them out. All we need is one tank division to lead the way. As long as these guys don't do anything, we'll do okay. Nice. Um, maybe we'll go here to here to here. Something like that, maybe. You guys go on in with them, and then you guys come up top and hang out. That's all right. You guys are doing great. Go ahead and just go in and start attacking them so they can't move. And there we will go. There we go. Nice. Ah, very good. Wee. Not these aren't obviously big encirclements, but they're necessary. A lot of small battles that helps win the war. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice. They wanted to leave. What's wrong with them? No, you're gonna die here. See, that's 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 what's gonna happen. You're gonna die here. Oh, what the heck, guys? Go on in. It's, it's totally fine. Keep the infantry there. That's fine. Horses move fast enough. Military construction two. Let's grab some more. Oh, that's a little bit ahead of time there. Uh, we're pretty good actually already. Nice. More encryption. Why not? Wee. Like normal. Keep cutting them off at their knees. Expand the plant. Uh, we don't need that, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. More support. Mm -hmm. Okay, for now. Alright, let's go up there. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. And, oh, what are you guys doing? Get up here, guys. There you go. And help support the attack. And they're drop dead. Goodbye. They have up to 71 divisions max. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, what else are we going to do? Maybe right here? It's not much, but it's it's something.
Get ready for the attacks. Mech and support. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Now I'm done. Go and move on in. Nope. Goodbye. Wait, do we have too many divisions here? Say it isn't so. Oh, no. Now we need another leader. 500 command. Holy crap, that's a lot. Sergei, hello. You are very expensive, Sergei. Very, very expensive. Free trade agreement. How about fleet planning? That's a good idea. All right, same thing as it normal. Actually, I'm gonna try to go all the way up to here, maybe. Maybe we'll risk it this time. Good. And to be ready, let's do that too. I'll support the attack. Hey, one, two, three, four divisions have been encircled. Very nice. Nice, there you go. Mm, they have up to 66 divisions left. We have 53 divisions. So 1v1, we should do pretty darn okay. We might actually be able to shatter them now. We're going to lead from the center. Give us a little bit of time. Get a little bit more planning if we need any more planning. And we're, then we're going to try another attack. We probably don't have enough planes though for this, do we? No, we do not. That sucks. Three, two, let's go. Let's try it, everyone. I don't know where you guys are at, but... Oh, you're struggling. That's not good. Oh, you're not going to do okay, since you have some support. 1.86 million, 1.87.88. Can we get there? Come on. Yep, we got there. Good, good, good. You've had it too good for too long. Saratov? God, they always refuse us. They really don't like us, do they? It would be great if we just went all the way over here and they didn't get any more supplies because there's no... Oh, uh, actually, they do have Arc Anglos. That sucks. They have less than maybe... They have less than divisions than us, maybe. Just maybe, 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 maybe. You find them, you beat them up. Don't let them have peace. Good. They definitely have less divisions than us now. And we just got ourselves in a circle. God dang it. Uh, their divisions are retreating somewhere else. I'm not sure where, but we'll take it. We lost half a million. They definitely have less divisions than us. We should be able to still save that division, too. I'm not too worried about that. We got some more oil. That's good. More fuel. Breakthrough. American support has arrived. Very good, very good. Fleet planning and at least American dockyards. Ah, more encirclements. We love it. And they died. Yep. This was not bad. A lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought we would struggle greatly, because when I played the USSR in the Thousand Week Reich, I struggled. I, well, maybe, maybe we struggled? It wasn't that bad. It was not, I don't think it was that bad. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't, I can't remember, honestly. Uh, good, good, good. They're trying to defend so badly, but they're not going to be able to, my friends. They have 41 divisions left. Oh, so nice. Excavation 2. Time doesn't really matter too much. Let's do that. Not bad. Probably cut down the oil a little bit more, maybe. Thank you, America. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, factories? Sure, why not? Just in case. There you go. Encryption. Get some decryption now. Very good. These guys have been cut off. Oh, well, whoever's left. The seven divisions down here. No, yes. Yes, yes, Yogi Bear. American sports, very good. Are y'all done? Uh, you might want to get the port. Show ya. Show na. Huh. Oh, you can actually walk up to here, huh? That's cool. Constantine. Scavenger. Because we're probably out of equipment still. Oh, and actually, you have this upgrade. Get improvisation expert, too. That's fine. Lost of... You know, he lost... Like I said, he lost the election, but he's doing pretty darn well. Now, this is a very awkward way to get around to get to Minsk. But whatever. It is what it is. Oh, that's so nice. That's so good. Why not? 
Yeah, they're shattered at this point. There's nothing they can do. 23 divisions left. Oh, my goodness. These guys are surrounded, too. Love it. Goodbye. Let's take a look at this. So, this none of this is cord. Like, that's what it is, a conscription level, which we're not mobilizing anymore, which is fine, but... And Rekka says, yes! We get some off-yard... Off-map... So we're done with the focus read! I didn't think we'd actually be able to get through this in two episodes, but... I was wrong! American support. Do we have claims on these guys? No, only the Axe Commissar at Muscovine and the Soviet Union. And... We can't even justify, because it's a game rule, which is kind of not great, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, you guys didn't go? Okay. You guys just going in and then go to Sevastopol. Ah, America, yes! But yeah, too bad we don't get war goals. But eventually, this nation, like I said before, is going to get a rework. All of Russia is hopefully going to get a rework. And we'll do, and we'll play this again and try it out some more. Because I'd love to get Moscow underneath us or with us, you know, whatever. Nuclear research? It's only minus forty percent construct research speed. That's all. We got them, my friends. We've got them. Russia is back. Now that. A nice Russian Republic, but do we get anything like? Oh, we can we can finally integrate Novosibirsk. Holy crap! Why? Why did they do that now? Why did it take that long to do? God, I want to kill off Poland right now, but whatever, it's fine. Go and train. We lost a lot of equipment, but hopefully we got some equipment when uh this guy's capitulated. Oh my gosh, we are back. We are should be considered somewhat of a major power now. So I don't think there's anything else here for us. So yeah, that'll be the, the campaign. Nice, really fun, short campaign. I really enjoyed my time here. If you enjoyed the video and the campaign yourself, do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, it looks like right now, if we were to continue playing, it'd basically be when we would start playing in TNO. But regards, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.